Yes, folks. Ooh. It's two o'clock. It's Thursday. Means this must be. Oh, well, maybe it isn't. Who knows? Like I said, this must be. Billers, 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 our franchising. Billers, 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 our franchising. Hell, to whoa, say that folks. this is a really weird time for business would be an understatement. There we go. We're in the right place now. Wow, folks, lots of buttons to push around. So, I'm Fred McMurray. I'm with my co-host Elizabeth Denham and Ray Pillar. How we doing, folks? Doing great. Sit here, Aurora. Temperatures ninety degrees. Hot, humid, miserable. Wow, ninety degrees. Yeah, that sucks. And it's cloudy. cloudy. Interesting. Yeah, we are. Uh, it says seventy nine on my phone, but I just don't believe it. This it feels, feels a lot warmer than that. that. But we've, we've got a fifty percent blue skies, fifty percent thunder clouds out there. there. We'll rumble, we'll rumble off, off in the distance. Oh, I think it's just hard, very humid. Very muggy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a walk, walk outside, outside and get damp immediately. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't like, like that. that. No, no, not at all. But you know. Cookies. What's going to happen when you live down, down here? here. Yeah. yeah. Fred, how's the weather on the left coast? Well, I don't know. They call it the pillaging, plundering, rioting, burning, whatever. No, uh, it's in the mid 80s. It's a beautiful day. Actually, it was kind of hot yesterday. It was in the 90s and really annoying, but um, tis what it is. Not much you can do about it. It's beautiful. Kind of like in the background. Sorry, folks. Talking fast. Trying to make sure everything's working. Looks like we are, other than. A couple of places, but we're all golden. So, <sighs> take a breath, Brett. Brett. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All is good. good. I hope so. But let's check over here. So, take it away, folks. Talk while I I watch right. things. Elizabeth, who is our guest today? Our guest, our guest is, is David, David Musker. Musker. Shall, Shall we bring, bring him in? in? Yeah. Shall we I bring think we him should. In? I think I we should. should. That's, That's what, what it's, it's all about. about. Yeah, no one wants to hear me. <laughs> there is David. David. This, this is David, David Busker, Busker, founder of Franvision and, and senior consultant with Franchise. He is he the is founder, founder of Franvision. Uh, National, National Network, Network of Consultants with Franchise. He has succeeded in multiple aspects of business as CEO, CFO, business owner, has raised capital, built businesses from, from scratch, and, and has been a multi-unit franchisee, franchisee himself. Um, um, with, that with that kind of experience, of business leadership, he's got, got a strong financial background, as a CPA, 15 years of experience in commercial real estate. He is, he is in a unique position to advise clients. clients. Finding, Finding the perfectly matched, matched franchise is always required, required but helping, helping candidates understand and work through risks associated with going, going into business, into business is where his experience and technical expertise shines through. But Dave, how are you? Great, how are you doing? Good. Where, where, tell, tell us where you are and what your weather is like. We always start with a little weather report. Sure. Uh, I'm, I'm in St. Louis, Louis and uh, <laughs> we are known, known for... Uh, Completely, completely crazy, crazy fall of weather. weather. We, we have four seasons, seasons but, but any, any of the four, four seasons, seasons can show up in any one, one of the seasons. seasons. So, uh, <laughs> you know, one day, <laughs> day it can be 90, 90 and the next day it can be 30. 30. Um, today, today it happens to be uh, over 90, 90 so uh, um, it's, it's kind of our uh, spring, spring spring storm, storm season. season. And, and, uh, yeah. hot, and then and thunderstorms, thunderstorms come, come, so uh, it's a little warm today. Yeah, yeah. St. Louis, Louis is known for its humidity. Am I correct? We have, we have plenty, plenty of that, that yes, in the summertime. That's, that's right. right. Fall, fall, fall is really the, 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 the premium, premium bit, the, the premium, premium October. That's, you know, just, just time, time for the World, World Series. Series. 
<laughs> I, I go to the Kickstarter, which is about 100 miles south of oh, the sure. river there. Yeah, I lived there for about 10 years, years. And, and so I know. know and it, I, I think all the cities along the Mississippi River are just, just absolutely humid. humid. Unbearably humid. Yeah, <laughs> it, it can, can be. be. Um, but but uh, yeah, I have, I have friends, friends from, from Cape. Cape. Been there quite, quite a few times. Nice time. Nice time. All right, all right. Enough of the pillars of weather. Enough of the pillars of weather. I was, I was, I was segueing, segueing, Fred. Fred. All right. Sorry. I got over anxious. Too much stuff is going right. So go ahead. <laughs> All right. When, when, when things go right, right with, with Fred, Fred, he feels that like something's got to happen wrong. wrong. So. He's got to self sabotage. He's getting naked. Exactly. Yeah. So, so back, back to what I was going to say, I was going to ask you, um, you, you, you have, have a lot, lot of different, different experiences, experiences in this business. business. Um, which, which I'm, I'm sure, sure all feed into, into what you're doing, doing now. So, so if you, you want to give, give us a little background on how you got where you are and what led you to where you are, I think that would be a great, great understanding, understanding of what you can offer. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, I, I think, think it's, 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 it's it's really, really the background, background of many of my, of my candidates. candidates. Um, I, was I was started it in, in a, a in a, in a worldwide accounting, accounting firm at Arthur Anderson, Anderson in the 90s, 90s but, but mm -hmm. I, I, went I went to a Fortune 500 company, I was in finance, I did M&A work, uh, loved, loved the industry, industry. Um, um, but, but one day they came in, in and, and there was a new CFO who had hadn't met me, called, called me to his office, office and said, said, hey, uh, sorry, sorry I haven't, haven't met you, but, but you know, I'm bringing, bringing my team in from AT&T AT and, and you're out. out. Um, so that, so was, that was my first, first experience, experience with, with, oh, you don't, you don't control, control your own destiny in corporate America. So I went smaller. I said, okay, I'm going to go to a smaller company where I can... You know, have, have more, more influence, influence and control my destiny, destiny better. better. I went in as CFO, CFO of a, of a regional, regional real estate company, company and loved, loved, got, got into commercial real estate, estate loved the industry, got promoted, got promoted to CEO, to CEO uh, three, three years, years later, later and, and was, was there, there for 11, 11 years. years. And ultimately, ultimately, at the end of the day, it was, it was a family owned business, business who, who did not have any kids in that business and they didn't, didn't want to sell. sell. So, once, Once they, they got, got to be past retirement, retirement age, age, they put a new legal, legal board, board in place that said, that said why, do you, why do you need a management, management company? company? And they, and they outsourced, outsourced everything. everything. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, round, round two, two of being in the wrong place, place at the wrong time. time. Yeah. So, I, you, know, you know, at that, that point, point, I had, I had young, young kids, kids and, and was, was saying, saying, you know, uh, um, I need, I need to, I need I need to start, start thinking about doing something on my own. And I had some successful investments. I had... I'm still, I'm still a partner, partner in some, some of those real estate deals. deals. Um, you know, you know they, they give me some passive income. income. And, I like and I like the idea of building, building more, more income streams. streams. So I looked at buying a franchise. franchise. Um, I, joined I joined a startup, startup company because I, I needed a job. job. Uh, but, but shortly, shortly thereafter, after, I bought, bought a franchise, franchise and wanted, wanted to get, get that going while I was employed. Um, and, and as startup, startup companies sometimes, sometimes do, uh, the, the day, day that, that I opened, opened my, my franchise, my, my boss sent an email and email said, hey, we're out of money. money. Today's the last day. day. <laughs> wow. So, so we're, we're, yeah, yeah that's some universe, universe karma, karma, I think, talked talk to me. I said, okay, that's the third time that I've lost, lost my, my job, job through weird organizational circumstance. circumstance. And uh, um, I, had I had got some indication, indication that, that was coming, coming so, so I had already been, been in talks with, with Brand Choice. I had gotten, gotten to know the franchise, franchise world, world and, and, and really, really enjoyed, enjoyed that, that. Uh, getting get to know, know that. that. So, so I, I, I had, had worked, worked out a deal with Brand Choice and, and started, started self-employment as, as a consultant, consultant while, while I wanted, wanted to continue to build my franchise businesses as well. well. Mm -hmm. Wow, that, that sounds like, like a familiar theme. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, so so something so so happened to me on yeah, yeah, my, my third time. Uh, being like, like, you know, know. They, 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 they have a nice term for that now. now. But, yeah. <laughs> but downsize, right size. Right size. Yeah, right right size. size. Uh, I was uh, in my mid-50s, and uh, it was time. You know, nobody wants, wants to hire someone in their mid-50s. Mid so mm -hmm. I, I, I figured I, I had nothing to lose. lose. I had invested everything I had into a franchise, franchise and, and uh, it is the best Thing I've, I've ever done, done. And, and I say, say that, that the benefit, benefit of our audience, audience who were <laughs> thinking, thinking, you know, which, which way are they going to go? So, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. it, 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 it's, 
it's been, been it's, it's not going to be good for everyone. everyone. You know, you know and and a, lot a lot of people, people were saying, "Are you nuts?" <laughs> you <know? laughs> but uh, it, it, it has, has worked, worked out. out so. So. You always, always have, have the naysayers, naysayers right? right? And uh, um, but in corporate, corporate America, America, you know, once, once you hit that, that age range, range what's, what's riskier? riskier? Uh, is, uh, is it riskier, riskier to, try to try to you know get, get that, that job, job in corporate, corporate America? America? What, what I what I say, I say is, is if you're not, not in a CD suite by fifth, fifth you're out by sixth. Six. So, so you have, you have to have, have an exit. Even if you take that corporate job. At 50, 50, you have to have, have an exit strategy planned out, out. And, and you need, need to be thinking about what you're going to do. Because if you're out, out at 55 to 60, you're not, not going to you get 10 years, years of no med, med, you know, before before Medicare. Medicare. Um, <laughs> a, lot a lot of challenges in that, in that, in that time, time frame, frame if you, you, you know, know, can't, can't, can't uh, have a have livelihood. Yep, 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 yep. Absolutely. And people are needing to work longer and longer. My husband is 58, had to think, add up. Um, um, and then we have, we have a f- almost 14-year-old, 14 year old. so, so and, 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 and four of the kids at the top, top. So, so you've got, got to have that, that gap, gap filled, filled. You, you can't, can't just, just coast <laughs> into your own buildings anymore. anymore. Yeah, yeah. Right? right. You're, you're, we're all, all going to live to 100, 100 right? right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we, we thought, thought that, that, but now there's a pandemic, so it's a little easier. sure my kids are voting against that. No, they're, they're not. not. <laughs> you mean they're teenagers. <laughs> right, right, right. That's, That's amazing. amazing. So, so, so David, so, you... when he... go ahead. Uh, I was going to ask David about my business. You, you, you said, said something about family. family. Do you have family? family? Yeah, I do. I do. I'm, I'm married, married and I have, have triplets. triplets. Uh, and they uh, are three girls, girls uh, two, two identical, identical, one, one fraternal. fraternal. Oh, wow. And they, they turn, turn 14, 14 and, and they'll, they'll be, be starting, starting high school, school in a couple, couple months. months. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Is there, are they interested in anything you're doing? Well, <laughs> it's interesting. So we've been, been on lockdown, lockdown right? right? COVID. <laughs> and and one, one of them is my academic bookworm, bookworm and has, has no, no very little interest, interest in, in you know, sports, sports and, and other, other things, things going, going on. on. So, so she, she is, is my, my summer, summer intern. intern. So, so she's, she's been, been doing a, uh, she's, she's, I, I got, got her set up. up. She, she has a computer. And she's, she's been, been doing, doing good work, work in my database, database and my CRM, my center list. I'm like, okay, upload these. And, you know, put, put all, all these in as contacts, contacts and then, you know, you know categorize them this way. way and and uh, so, so it's, it's her first, first you know, professional, professional job. job. So we'll see how that goes. She should hopefully pick her interest a little bit. All the, All the summer, summer camps, camps are canceled, right? right? They, yeah. they, you know, they, 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 they had, had summer, summer plans, plans for, for them, them and, and, and places, places to volunteer, volunteer and things. things. And, and um, yeah, they've, they've been, been canceled. canceled. So it's, it's, it's you know, we got, we got a couple, couple months, months here we're going to have to fill in, in or otherwise it's, it's sleep all day, day and Netflix. Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think people are tired of that. Even my kids are tired of that. Yeah, yeah, well, it's, it's easy, easy to, become to become a puddle, puddle when you have, have nothing, nothing to do. do. So, so you've got to come up with creative, creative solutions, solutions. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> what do you, what do you think, think are some of the greatest, greatest lessons, lessons that now that you have your daughter as an intern? intern? What, what, over the course of your, your fragmented, fragmented uh, career, career path, path, which, which so, many so many of us have, have. Uh-huh. Um, what is what the greatest lesson that all that has taught you to impart to them? Well, well, for me, me is, and I've, I've been, been saying, saying this to him, him for a couple, couple of years, years now, probably since they hit middle, middle school, school, is that it, you, need need to, to, you need to you need to think of yourself as an entrepreneur. Um, the, the gig economy is real, and, and there's, there's a possibility that by the time they graduate college, they may they never get a W two. They may they may work, work their, their whole life, you know, their whole career as a gig economy or an independent contractor. Because, because anything, anything that's, that's routine, routine back, back office, office repeatable, repeatable process is going to get replaced by software. Mm-hmm. It's going to get, get outsourced, outsourced if, if there's efficiencies that, that companies can outsource those things. things. Uh, accounts, accounts payable, payable you, know, you know, anything. anything. Um, mm-hmm. It's not, not their core, you know, not, not their core product, product or service. Um, so, so if you're, if you're working, working in one of those fields, fields you might, might, who knows, who knows you, you might, might, you might never. never be an employee. Be an employee. You know, certainly, certainly, if you're a design, design professional, or you're in some of those creative fields, fields a, lot a lot of those people are now doing. If they're, they're not, not with an agency, agencies, agencies have brick and mortar. They're so expensive. 
and, and you get get now, now you, you do, do this stuff, stuff uh, freelance, freelance and, and make, make a decent, decent living without, without ever being an employee. employee. Mm -hmm. That's, That's true. true. That's true. true. A lot, a lot of people do do like with college, college students uh, get, get employed, employed in, in, in their particular field, field. and uh, so, so it's, it's a good, good idea to have some interest. interest. And if, if you could guide, guide them along, along and, and something that you're doing, doing, at least they'll have that. that. No matter no what, what they choose, choose to do, if they decide. That's right. And they, and they do, do. All of them have worked at my. Uh, my, my franchise, franchise business, business. So I, so I own a fitness, fitness studio, studio uh, which, which is just cycle bar, bar indoor, indoor cycling, cycling fitness, fitness studio. studio. And, that's and that's been, been really, really good, good because it's, it's, it's the perfect, perfect job for, for, for a, a, you know, a, 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 a good, good teenager, teenager that's, that's, you know, <laughs> has, uh, I'll say, um, but, but it's, it's been, been a good, good for them, them as they, they learn, learn to come in, in they have to work and bunch of clean bathrooms and then those kinds of things and keep our class running. So, um, that, that's, that's, that's been, been good, good as well, trying, trying to get, get them involved. Um, uh, they're, they're, they're still, still in, they can't, can't drive, drive yet. yet. So, uh, <laughs> coming, coming soon, uh, unfortunately, mm -hmm. but, but I try to move as well as I can. Well, you know, that, that thought process, process that you're imparting to them, them you know, you know clearly, clearly plays into what it is that you're doing. doing. So, so in terms, terms of um, counseling potential franchisees, franchisees what, kind what kind of experience, experience have you had that helps, helps you understand, understand how, to how to get into, into their, their psyches and, and, and figure out what it is that they're looking for and what they need? Well, I, I've, I've tried, tried to really, really focus a lot of my, my prospecting and, and development of, 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 of candidates that are it come from, from a similar, similar background. background. So I work with a lot, a lot of people from, from with a with financial, financial background, people coming from commercial, commercial real estate. Um, I, I have, have a, somewhat of a niche in that because, because I, was, I, was I was CEO of a real estate development, development company, company, very involved, involved in that industry, industry not, not just locally, locally nationally. nationally. I, I've, worked I've worked with quite a few retail, retail property, property owners, owners who, they, they, own own estate, they own real estate, they own retail, retail centers, centers, which is going through a change. They're looking to <laughs> backfill some of the rim empty spaces. spaces. They already, they already have, have the back office, legal, personnel, a lot of, lot of those, those kind of things that they can, can accounting, that they, they can run, run the business. So they, they really, really don't have an additional overhead. overhead. They, they can start their business with capital. capital. Lot, oftentimes, not, not much more than they spend on, on tenant improvement on, on, on for, a, for, for an incoming, incoming tenant. tenant. And then, and then they, they just run it run themselves and they keep cash flow. Improve their, their centers, centers, control, control the tenant, tenant mix. mix. So, so the real estate, estate focus has been in one area, area uh, like, like I said, financial, financial backgrounds. backgrounds. I, try I try to bring, bring that, that to, to, to my candidates. I've, I've also worked in corporate, corporate America, America, so I, I certainly, certainly understand what like, a, lot a lot of transitioning executives are going through. through. Mm -hmm. and, hey, I've, hey, I've lived, I've lived, I've lived it three times. And then one of the things I did was I do a lot of networking. And I, and I found, found myself, myself repeating myself, myself so often that I wrote, wrote an article, article um, with, with all of, of my lessons, lessons learned, plus the best, best practices, practices I've learned, learned from, from all these other people, people that have gone, gone through it. it. And I share, I share that, that with everybody. everybody. I, I, anybody, anybody that is in transition, transition I'm not, I'm not just, just trying to sell them a franchise. franchise. I'm, I'm trying, trying to help them with their transition, whatever it is. And oftentimes those are great sources of referrals or you know, you know, I'm, I'm a big believer, believer in paying, paying it forward. forward. All, All that, that comes back, back to you later. later. And, and so uh, those have been, been some things that I, I've, I've done, done, but you know, you know I built, built the business, business from scratch. And so, so I think, think I, 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 I've walked, walked in the shoes, shoes of each function of a small, small business, business and, and can kind of provide, provide a calming hand, hand for a lot of people are like, hey, I've been in sales my whole time, but I don't know anything about finance, or I don't know anything about ops or whatever. Um, they, they may have been functionally in, in one area. area. So, so I think I, think I can give them, them kind of that, that broader, broader perspective and say, look, look you know, you know here, here's, here's how you deal with that. that. Here's, here's what a franchise can provide. provide. That's, That's part, part of the point, point is, that is that you don't, you don't need, need to have an operations, operations experience because they're, they're going to give you a checklist. Okay. <laughs> well, that's, that's really interesting. interesting. Um, your story, your personal story, your willingness to share it. Lens towards, towards your credibility a ton. I would, I would imagine, imagine people trust that you know, you know what you're talking about. about. Have you found that that has helped, helped you build these kinds of relationships that have, have, have propelled you forward? forward? I believe so. I, I'm, I'm not, not uh, I, you know, 
it, it, franchising, franchising is not, is not right, right for everyone. For everyone. I, 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 I've, I've wondered, wondered myself if it's right, right for, me, for me. You know, you know I mean, we, we all have those, those nights, nights the sleepless, sleepless nights. nights. Um, you know, I, I, when, when, when we launched, launch, we launched launch in a bad, bad time, time of the year uh, for our, our franchise, franchise and, and you know, we weren't quite hit projections. And um, you know, you know it, it caused me a lot, lot of anxiety, anxiety. and I broke, I broke it down, down and, and figured out, you know, what, what can I do, what action steps, steps do, I do I need to take? take? And, and it, was it was really more about, about my own, own, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of us have. I think, I think that going, going through, through that experience, experience saying, saying, you know, I, I, I was always a successful, successful business, business leader and going, going to, to the bank, bank and asking, asking for some, some, you know, some relief or changes or something like that. You know, you know, a change, a change in, in this term, term going, going to your, your landlord, landlord working, working with, with them, them saying, hey, I, I, I need to, you know, I need a little bit different term, term. I, need I need some deferral here, here. Can, can we change that, that on the back end? end. That, that, those, those were not things, things that, that, you know, we have, have a self, self you, know, you know, ego, ego about, about us that, 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 that it's not very, very comfortable, comfortable having, having those decisions or having those discussions, I mean. And so I've been through that and... What, what you find, find is when you talk, talk to those people, people, I talk to the bank, I talk to the landlord, I talk to my vendors, and they're all they're like, yeah, you know, no, no problem. problem. I mean, it, it, to, to them, them, it's business, business as usual. For you, you're, you're like, oh my God, God. I, you know, I'm, 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 you know, I, I, need, I need to change, change things. things. I'm, I'm not quite, quite doing, doing what I thought I was. was. And, and, and it, it, it causes more anxiety than maybe is really there. There are always solutions if you focus. Just out of curiosity, curiosity David, what, what is your, your uh, typical, typical client? client? I mean, who, who comes, comes to you looking for some advice? advice? Well, it's, it's uh, I, would I would say, say there's, there's no, 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 no typical, typical profile, profile makes, makes a majority, majority of my candidates, candidates but, but there, there is probably a plurality of transitioning executives. executives. Okay. okay. With, With my, my background, background my network, network, I do have a lot of, of Corporate, corporate connections, connections and, and several, several industries, industries um, through, through telecom, telecom through, through real estate, estate, through accounting and finance. And, and, and so that, that's, that's kind of built, built on itself. itself. And, 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 and I've worked, worked with a lot of Fortune 500, 500 transitioning executives who say, say look, I've been there 25, 25 years. Either, either I, can't I can't find a job, job that, that I want, want uh, or like, like we said, said is I, I've hit 50 and I'm you know, you know, everything, everything I'm, I'm looking, looking at, at the jobs that are available, available to me, or a step down, or you know, less pay they was making, they finally hit that. that they finally hit that peak. peak. So, so they're, they're, again, they're not, not in the C-suite. You're not. You're not. You're, you're not, not up, up in the C-suite, C-suite by that age range. range. You're probably not going, going to get there, there in that type of company. And a Fortune 500 type company, they're just managed differently. And so, those I would say is probably my most common. Profile, profile candidate, candidate. But, but I've had, had I have, I have some, some I have some candidates, candidates in their twenties that are uh, young and, and, and say, say you, know you know what I I already, I already see that I want to work, work for myself, myself. and mm-hmm. I have entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs who already own businesses or own, own franchises, franchises that, that want to expand or diversify. Or so it's so really, really a broad, broad spectrum, spectrum but, but probably, probably transitioning executives that are packaged, packaged out and have, and have the means and the, the desire to do something else. And then, and then the final, final com, 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 com combination with that oftentimes is they, they want to do something, something more meaningful. meaningful. They've been in, in an industry, industry that didn't quite, quite find their, their passion. passion. And, and a lot of times time they, they may find that in franchising with a lot of, lot of the categories, categories that we're working in, in. You know, whether it's child enrichment or senior care or some of the categories, fitness is a big lifestyle. Uh, focus, focus of people, people that, that are really, really passionate about, about that, that helping, helping others change, change their lives. lives. So, um, um, that, that, that's, that's, that's a, a, I found, found in, in interesting, that's, that's a much bigger driver than, than I originally thought it would be. be. Mm-hmm. All, right, All right, I think, I think it's, it's time, time for us to take a quick, quick break. break. Fred, Fred want to take, take a South South commercial? commercial? Sure, I will. So, I want to remind, I want to thank the Lincoln <laughs> Network for broadcasting our show. Remind everyone that They can call in at 323-580-5755. Talk to our technical producer. That's 323-580-5755. We'll get you on the air. Also, for all those people that are hanging out on the PillarsOfFranchising.com website, and I can see you there, send a message. Also, thanks to everyone on Facebook and all the other places for watching. And now a word from our sponsors. Hey, franchise owners. 
How's your local marketing? Do you feel like you could use some help keeping up with your social media posts and comments and reviews? Do you wonder if you could be doing more to attract local customers? Are you able to identify new move-ins to your local area? At Westvine, we help franchisees like you reach more local customers through digital marketing. With daily monitoring, creative content, and ad placement, and customer data intelligence, we'll get your business in front of the people who want your products or services. We also work with franchisors who need an agency to handle the digital marketing for all of their locations. If you're ready to reach more local customers, give us a call at 805-265-5440 or visit us at westvine.com. That's 805-265-5440 or westvine with a Y dot com. The Franchise Woman is a bi-monthly digital magazine that empowers women as they navigate the franchising industry by providing relevant news, tools, advice, and inspiration. We are a resource for women who are seeking to own their own businesses, improve their existing businesses, find creative solutions, and take advantage of franchise opportunities. We feature women in the business who best exemplify our ideals and have something to teach our readers. In addition to our exclusive articles relating to the female entrepreneur, we also feature brands that are geared for women. Women have become the fastest growing sector in business ownership and have become a powerful, influenceable force fueling the economy. The Franchise Women will give you the news that is relevant to you to help you navigate the path of successful franchise ownership. By women, for women, and about women, we are the Franchise Women. Join us today at www.thefranchisewoman.com. And we're back. (sighs) Gotta love when things work and when they don't. But what can you say? (sighs) Go ahead, Elizabeth. Go for it. I'm going to breathe now. Okay, you (laughs) You do do that, that, Fred. Fred. We need you to breathe. breathe. Um, (laughs) David, David, we can't go go through a show without without asking... asking about, about the pandemic. The pandemic. Um, there's, there's been a lot, a lot going, going on, a lot, a lot that has affected businesses, businesses, some are coming back, back, some won't. Um, what, are what are your thoughts? What have, what have you seen, seen in terms of existing franchises? franchises? And, and what is what your is thought, thought on timing, timing to, to be looking, looking for franchising? You know, you're, you're, you're seeing the free rise, rise to the top, top <laughs> during, during, the, during, during a crisis. crisis. But what, but what are you advising? Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm living, living it first firsthand, hand, so, so my, my franchise, franchise is, is still closed. closed. Uh, our our St. Louis, Louis County, County has taken, taken a very, very tough stance on, on uh, businesses, businesses the opening, opening here. here. Um, within, within the state, the state of, Missouri, of Missouri, which is not, not a, a hot, hot spot, spot as a state, state the, 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 majority the majority of the of cases, cases are, are in St. Louis, Louis Metro. metro and and uh, the, the, the county, county commissioner is, is, is a doctor here, and he's... Draw a line in the sand. sand. So, so fitness, fitness businesses, businesses are the last business businesses allowed, allowed to open. We're finally opening, opening on June 15th. So, so it'll be three, three full months, months of closure. complete closure. Uh, so, we're so we're looking forward, forward to getting, to getting back, back that. that. So, so I'm definitely, definitely I've, been I've been through, through the PPP. I've been, I've been through, through the EIEL. I've, I've, I've talked to the banks, the lenders, the landlords. I've been doing all of that for the last three months. And so I certainly can speak to that to my candidates, right? Because I'm in the middle of it. It, it, what, what, but, on but on the flip, flip side, side, it was really, really interesting, interesting because, because the first, first 30, 30 days, days it, was, it was everyone being frozen. frozen. There are deer in the headlights, headlights and, and nothing, nothing happened. happened. But, but then all, then all of a sudden, sudden you, know, you know, my, my candidates were already, already processed, processed which, which, which everything, everything had kind of frozen, frozen started, started to kick back, back up. Mm-hmm. And then and after, after Memorial, Memorial Day, Day it, 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 things, things really, really started, started changing, changing and uh, a, a lot, lot of new, new people coming, coming in, in saying, saying looking, looking at their, their reevaluating their whole career path. Path. And, 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 and so it, so it, it's, it's been, been very active. active. I, I hear, hear that, that from, from the other consultants, consultants in our network. network. There are definitely, definitely a, a lot of, of a lot of interest, interest going, going on. on. I think the think profile, profile of the candidate has changed, changed a little bit. bit. I, think I think those transitioning, transitioning executives, executives make, a, make, up make up a higher percentage, percentage now. now. That's, That's kind, kind of moved up in percentage. percentage. I, also I also think a lot of the, of the more, more opportunistic, opportunistic entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial people, people who may or were, were, had, had cash, cash idle, idle cash, cash that were sitting, sitting on the sidelines, sidelines are, now are now coming, coming in, in looking at opportunities 
if you if think, you think about, about the stock market, market you want to, you, know, you know, buy the, the market, market peak, peak or you don't want to buy when things are down. And, and I, think I think the smart, the smart entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs are seeing that the second, second half of this year is going to be, be probably one of, one of the best, best times to get in get and start a business, business. Whether, whether it's a franchise, it's a franchise or whether, or whether it's, it's a, you know, you know, just, just a, some, some uh, you know, regular, regular type, type of business, business that you're, that you're starting, starting independently. independently. Yeah, it, it's, it's financing, financing is, is cheap, cheap and flexible, flexible probably, probably is ever, ever going to be. It doesn't mean, mean it's easy, easy to do, uh, but you're but certainly, certainly going to have favorable, favorable terms. terms. Landlords, Landlords, if you're in, if you have bricks and mortar, mortar are going to be very flexible, flexible especially on the, on the retail, retail side. side. Because, because there is going to be a, a, there's there's gonna be some shake out. I think independent businesses in many sectors, they couldn't have. Six 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 twelve, twelve you know six six nine, nine months of working capital. capital. It's going to be a struggle. struggle. I, know I know for our fitness, fitness studio, studio, I've been, I've been closed, closed completely, completely for three, three months. months. They're, They're finally allowing us to open on June fifteenth. But, but the, the, the first, the first guidance, guidance they says, says our customers, customers had to be twelve feet apart, apart in a group, in a group fitness setting. setting. I'm like I can't, I can't run, run classes, classes in an airport hangar. So we're very restricted on our occupancy. So, so it's, it's not, not like, like even though you're, you're opening, opening you're, you're, you're not really, not really opening, opening at, at a level that like you can, can you can make, make money. money. So, so uh, or, or, you, know, you know, get back, get back to where, to where you were. were. And, and, and we, we don't know how long, long that's going to be. be. If the county's going to require that until there's a vaccine, that could be a year and a half. So there's going to be a lot of struggles. So I think, you know, and that's a challenge for current businesses, but it's an opportunity for new business coming in because, Along, along with cheap capital, capital and flexibility, flexibility you, have you have less, less competition, competition and, and you know, you know, better, better favorable uh, terms, terms from vendors, vendors and landlords, landlords and, and uh, pent up demand, demand in, in, in many, many cases. cases. I'm, not I'm not worried, worried about, about having, having my classes full. full. I, just, I just can't, can't have enough people, people in them. So, so uh, that, that, those, those are the things, things I think that, that will help, help drive people to it. The profile change a little bit. We, we, never we never know, know which business are going to get affected by right, what's, what's coming, coming along the pipeline because we don't, we don't know what's coming along. along. There's so, so many things, things that are, that are happening. happening. It, it just so happens. happens. I, I, come I come from a high tech background, background and, and I ended up, up with a maid, maid service, service, Molly, Molly maid. maid. And right. it, it, right. Does, it, it doesn't seem to jive, except from the standpoint that I was managing people before and managing people now. And as, As an, an owner, owner yeah, 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 I want our audience, audience to, to understand, understand this. You don't want to jump on. I mean, when you start out, I mean, there are all the hats. But as you work your way towards what, what, what you, what you might, see might see at the end, end, end you can, you, you can, can uh, delegate, delegate those things, things that you don't care to do and just do the things you would like to do. So, so it's, it's important, important that, that people know that, that just, just because, because you have, have a passion, passion for something doesn't, doesn't mean you have to go towards, towards that, that in a franchise. In a franchise. And that's right. I, I, and I wonder how many people, people have you got out of, you know, you know someone like so myself, I'm, I'm looking, looking for something high tech, tech and I am something, something totally, totally different, different and, and I still enjoy doing it. So how many people have you got out of that in those directions? Well, you know, we always say, you got to start, start with a blank, blank slate. slate. And, and at the beginning, beginning of every consultation, consultation, I tell people, look, we're, the whole point is not to talk about the widget. It's really to figure out what you want in a business, what you really enjoy, what drives, what kind of lifestyle are you looking for as an owner? What are you looking to get out of it in, you know, in three years, five years as a career? And pull that information out and you know write that down everything you want to business on you know if you drew a line down the middle of your whiteboard everything you want on one side everything you don't want on the other and then let's go out and look for franchise brands that meet that and mm -hmm. oftentimes or very often it's an industry you weren't thinking about and it's a brand you'd never heard of and mm -hmm. a lot of people i mean that's the whole point of our process is is to start with the candidate most candidates go on the internet, right? And it's a hot mess. And there are thousands of blinking lights and noise coming at them when they type in the word franchise. Mm -hmm. And you know, they drive by the Chick-fil-A or the Dunkin' Donuts and think, that's great, I, lo I love Chick-fil-A, so I, I wanna own one until they find out what it's all about. Mm -hmm. um, 
and then they waste a lot of time. And so for me, um, I really try to guide them and say, I never knew anything about the fitness business either, but I had built a business from scratch previously, which actually was in the amusement entertainment space. It was the first modern observation Ferris wheel in the United States. So whole nother story, right? <laughs> but it taught me a lot. And I, I built that from scratch, but it, it was a huge success. And it was something that was capital intensive, not labor intensive. I, I had a checklist of things that I really liked about that business. I told my consultant and when they, when he comes back to me with franchises, lo and behold, he, he shows me a fitness business, which I had not, had not even thought of. Mm -hmm. But when I dug into it, it checked a lot of those boxes. So if you really are digging into the attributes that you want, both financially, lifestyle and other things, be open-minded because that the, the, the business that might fit you best is oftentimes not something you'd thought about. And, and oftentimes you don't want to fall into the passion trap and make your hobby, your business, because you probably end up hating your hobby. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I think keeping an open mind, that's, those are very, very good words that people who are listening need to do because you never know where, what direction, you're going to be going. Absolutely. Elizabeth? Well, how often have you, have you come across someone and you just thought franchising is not for you? You know, nice try, but this is really not your cup of tea. And, and how do you address that? <laughs> does that happen very often? Uh, sure. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I mean, I, I, you know, the number of people that I talk to compared to the ones that are actually serious candidates that I would start a process with. I mean, it's, a, it's a big ratio and I talk to a lot of people and, and my, my biggest two things are, is, you know, education. I'm, you know, I'm an analytical person. I'm a CPA, CFO kind of mind left, left brain mindset. So I, you know, what I value is having all the facts and not, you, the decision is going to be made on emotion at the end of the day. We know 100% of decisions are emotional, but we're going to try to apply all the logic criteria and facts to that to make sure it's, it, it, it all lines up. And oftentimes it doesn't. People, a lot of people are very interested in it and they just don't have the capital or the financial reserves. It's just not a good idea, right? They, you know, you're leveraging yourself to the hilt and you have no margin for error. So something like COVID hits, you know, there are going to be obstacles in the economy. There's going to be recessions. There's going to be things that happen. And it doesn't matter when you really start the business. You hit, if, if you're really a long-term minded person, you intuitively know those things are going to happen. So um, you can't go in undercapitalized. I coach people on that. And also some people just don't have the, the they, they think, a you know, somehow a franchise is easier. Uh, it's not easier uh, than, than having a job or that the, the franchisor is going to do something for them. It's like, no, that's not really what it's about. But if you're going to work hard, a lot of people, I think, come from the mindset is that I'm working, I'm working very hard. I'm always a hard worker, but I, I'm not seeing the results come back to me. You know, my company hasn't mm -hmm. been loyal to me. I've worked hard for 20 years and I, at the end of the day, I get a pink slip from some new executive that came in. I haven't even met and you know, what do I have to show for it? And that's where I think is a lot of times the trigger and, and that, that is okay. Um, but if people don't have the mindset or if they're like, Hey, I can only work eight to five Monday through Friday. I'm a week, you know, and I can <laughs> never be available on weekends and, you know, I need to take a, you know, I have to take two months uh, vacation every summer and, you know, I, I, I strongly encourage them to, to <laughs> consider if franchising is for them or business right. owners. Just to clarify, uh, owning a <laughs> franchise is uh, not any easier than starting your own business, but it is, <laughs> uh, how should I say, it, 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 I'm losing my train of thought. So as an employee, it's going to be harder than being an employee. 
There's no doubt about that. You're going to work your butt off. Yeah. If you're starting a business, you're going to work twice as hard as if you try to start a franchise because you don't have that network to, to help you out. So it's extremely important. People don't realize how important that network is. You know, absolutely. It, absolutely. It, it's, you, it allows you to leverage your time. Yeah, okay. you know, I mean, you think if you start up a business and you're like, which POS software should I use? What should my logo look like? Like, you know, a franchise allows you to, to combine, you know, have all those best practices figured out. Mm-hmm. So your focus is really on growing the business. It's, it's yeah, focusing right. on revenue. And that's what good franchise companies want their franchisees to do. They want them to focus on revenue. Don't worry about which accounting software you should buy. Like that doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't make your business successful. You know, it's mm-hmm. important. Is it important? Yes. You need to do it. Yes. But we'll figure that out for you and provide you a resource so that you can spend your time and energy on this. And I, that's what I like about franchising is it allows you to leverage your time better. And, um, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, if you're comparing an employee to an, um, uh, a business owner, I mean, or an entrepreneur, employees are paid for their time and, mm-hmm. and entrepreneurs are paid for results. Right. Mm-hmm. And so it's just a different, you have to change your mindset and understand and, and, it doesn't mean you have to work like a slave. It just means you have to adjust your, adjust your, how you approach things. Do you find during COVID, um, you talked a little bit about the profile changing in terms of who you're seeing, but the people that you are seeing, do you find that they're driven so much more by a need to control their own destiny? Um, because I think when you are an employee, you're, you're at the mercy of, whoever you're working for and decisions are often taken out of your hands. Um, do you, are you finding that those people are, are starting to say, you know what, I could, I could do this better myself. I could control my own I, destiny and, and, and make sure that I'm okay. I, I think that's it definitely. And I, that's a big proportion. I think it's always there. I mean, that's always one of the biggest triggers is, you know, look, you know, I'm, uh, whatever my contributions are, I, you know, I'm, I'm having outcomes that I had nothing to do with that are negative mm-hmm. outcomes. So I, I, that triggers them to want to control their destiny. And, and it's definitely a, a big percentage of people that I'm seeing now. Um, interesting. I'm also seeing people who probably, I, I, one of the categories I'm seeing now in COVID is executives, uh, you know, smart, uh, very intelligent uh, executives that have have not previously even considered it. They they don't necessarily, or even if they they're not necessarily in transition, they might be, or they're thinking about it. But they're 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 using this whole time to kind of reconsider. I think they've had time to think, and they're they're really considering is that it's not just I want to control my destiny now, uh, but it's also I want to plan ahead and I want mm-hmm. to start building a business. I want to start thinking about it now instead of waiting until something happens and then that, and, and then that's the trigger. So that trigger is happening a little bit earlier while people are already employed and they're looking to build something while they're still employed, knowing that, mm-hmm. hey, you know, the whole thing's dicey and I'd rather do something on my own. So that, that's been interesting the last, I would say the last 30 to 60 days, seeing a lot of candidates with that kind of profile coming where that, that triggers happening earlier before they get displaced or packaged out. Mm-hmm. All right, Fred, are we ready for our next commercial break? God only knows at this point, but we'll try it. Ever wonder how (laughs) successful business people get educated about franchise business options? The Franchise Consulting Company is a group of over 100 franchise professionals with more than 2,000 years of franchise experience. We help our clients select and investigate franchise companies. And like a realtor, our services are free of charge to you. Our fees are paid by the seller. Reach out to us to learn more and get a free copy of the Franchise MBA, the number one bestseller and highest reviewed book on Amazon in the franchise category. 
Our website is thefranchiseconsultingcompany.com or feel free to call us on 800-321-6072. And just a reminder, the last time Nick was on the show, he upped the treasure. If you're looking to buy a franchise, you can not only get a copy of the wonderful book, which is... Ooh, I actually had it really close. Oh, but no one can see me. So, um, anyways, you can't see the book? Too bad. Anyways, not only that, but you get a copy or a VR headset. Reminder that Tuesday morning at 7.30 a.m. Pacific is Caffeinated Connections. Meet interesting people from all across the world. And if I can hit the right, the right button, we are back with my double head. Yay. <laughs> Of course, no one sees that, but no one knows how I'm sneaking in on Ray's head right now. You can see me twice here, but now we're back. Sorry, having some tech geek fun there. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm just having too much fun. Today. Ray, you have the next question? <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the things that uh, we talked a little bit about, uh, about children and one of the nice things about owning a business is to be able to hand your children something and uh, in, in my particular case I have a, a son and a daughter-in-law who are in my business and uh, I, I feel uh, you know a sense of pride in that and a sense of being accomplishment being able to hand them something and, you know when I'm gone so that's something that you know that you can do as a business owner, as a franchise owner, is is be able to you know hand something down, and, that, and I think that's important for our audience to understand, and it's something that uh, you need to uh, elaborate a little bit on, and you know, and tell people. And in your case, you have your your, your daughters, who are all fourteen. Yep, all three of them. Right? <laughs> that's fantastic. Um, was well, there a question there? And I think it is, it is a big motivation. It is a big motivation for a lot of, uh, candidates that not, you know, th there's the whole list of reasons, right. And, you know, I, I always say you have to have multiple motivations. You need a, a trigger, you need something to do it, but you also need a positive future vision. You need, you need to be able to vision you know, it's my tagline, but you need to be able to visualize your future. If you can't see what you're looking for, what you want out there five or 10 years from now, or you have an idea of what that picture looks like, then you're not going to, you're not going to, you know, start a franchise. Uh, you're interested, you're curious, but you don't really have the motivation. Mm -hmm. uh, you might be frustrated because you got laid off. You have to do that. And one of the biggest motivators in that is building enterprise value. Mm -hmm. having something that I have put work into this. I know I'm going to work hard, but at the end of the day, I have a business that I can sell. I can pass to my kids. I can bring my, 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 my kids into the business and have them take it over perhaps while we, we own it and make them a partner. However, that might, you know, however that might play out for you. And it is a big component of that positive future vision that people need. Like, they need to see that and they need to see franchising as a path that could help get them there. And if they've got those three components, you know, the trigger, the, the positive future vision, and then seeing the path, franchising as a path for that, then those are, they're gonna be the most likely ones to move forward. And enterprise values definitely, it's, it's always part of that, part of that formula is building wealth and you know, you don't always necessarily have that in a self-employment type franchise where you're just working for yourself. You may not have any employees or, you know, scalability to it. Uh, but most of the franchises are definitely going concerns that you're going to be able to build some enterprise value with. Having that, having that vision. Uh, and I think Stephen Covey said it best, begin with the end in mind, but having that vision will motivate you and keep you going even when things get tough yeah. you know you, you have that motivation to keep going absolutely and that's part of the that's part of the entrepreneur's mindset which i'll give myself a plug you know i wrote it in my book <laughs> which i also give away for free um 
to those who ask. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, that's really uh, that that that's really a, a, an important part of it, and uh, is 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 building that you know building that future vision and having the mindset is uh, working, uh, having a long-term mindset. So the, mm -hmm. the key is, and I think this is the, what the hardest mental leap from an employee to entrepreneur goes is that an entrepreneur is always thinking about their long-term vision. So their behaviors change, their yeah. behaviors, their short-term behaviors change to that. They're always working toward that long-term yeah. vision. Whereas mm -hmm. an employee might say, okay, I'm, I want to finish this project because I want to get done by five. I want to go to the lake for the weekend. They're yeah. always kind of, you're, you're thinking in a short-term mindset. Whereas an entrepreneur is going to say, you know what? I get up every Sunday morning. My kids are asleep. I do the payroll. I do this other stuff. Uh, I'm thinking about, because that lets me give free time with my family and, and builds toward that long-term vision, whatever that is. You know, I, I wake my kids up, I take them to work with me. You know, I, you know, I work Saturday mornings now at the studio. So I have to, uh, you know, I take my kids with me. I get a little family time and they learn some business and I'm in my business interacting with customers and keeping my hands on the pulse. So those are things that I'm doing that are in accordance with my long-term goals, but mm -hmm. they have to adjust my short-term behaviors. Well put. Yeah. And, and back to the kids for a minute. I think it's such a great lesson. My dad used to rotate taking us to work. There were five kids in my family also, and we would get to go. They had, they served breakfast at his office every Saturday and we would go have breakfast with oh, yeah. him and then watch what he didn't. You learn so much about not, not only what he is doing, but what he is about, you know? So I think imparting that work ethic in that way, Mm -hmm. as much as the legacy of the business but the legacy of your behavior and your mm -hmm. goals and your values and, and that kind of thing it's a it's a great opportunity to expound on that and with your with your kids i think it is and a lot of a, a lot of adult parent child mm -hmm. partners uh, mm -hmm. i have a lot of a lot of candidates that are parent child partners you know one mechanics just today and he wants it's he's a, a transitioning executive and a financial guy and his dad is a retired attorney and his dad mm -hmm. wants to be a partner in the business and they even have their cousin that that is maybe going to be the operations person and definitely a family affair so it can yeah. you know if, if you're depends on your age range and where your kids are if you can get mm -hmm. them involved in it or sometimes adult adult children and parents as, as partners Mm -hmm. I love it. Well, Ray, would you like to ask our final question before we go down the rabbit hole? I certainly would. So we've seen you flash your book up there. So uh, <laughs> go ahead and flash that up there again so people can see it and then sure. let people know how they can get the book and how they can contact you if they're in interested in a franchise. And when Fred will Absolutely. get his copy. <laughs> All I need is your address. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I, one of my things I said was education. And when I started doing the consulting business, I really wanted to give my candidates every resource. And one of my colleagues has a good book. And I, I, I was going to Amazon, buying his book for every one of my candidates and sending it to him from Amazon. I thought, not that it was a lot of money, but I'm like, this is kind of crazy. You know, why am I sending them someone else's book? And so <laughs> I literally sat down and, and said, you know, I need to say it my way. I wanted something that was a practical guide, not a lot of pie in the sky, not a lot of fluff. And uh, I mean, it does talk about my background. It does talk about the entrepreneur versus employee mindset, which we, which we talked about, but really a guide to walk you through how, how to approach the process. And so, um, it's, it's been great. It launched last November and, um, you know, I've really enjoyed it. Obviously it's a great, if people read this, uh, I have my candidates call me like, Oh, I saw your example. Is that, you know, was that real? And I'm, yeah, this is all came from, you know, my real thing. This isn't, uh, uh, is anything made up and I wrote it all myself and it wasn't some ghost writer or anything. 
-hmm. and uh, it's been good. And, and you can get a copy if you fill out a form on my website or email me, David at franchisevision.com. And uh, happy, you know, with your yeah, with your uh, mailing address, I'll send you a hard copy. I'm happy to do that. And, um, you know, yeah, it's available. And you can see it also on my website um, at franchisevision.com. Fantastic. And there will be a link on Pillars of uh, Franchising's uh, webpage to your webpage so people can link to it. Yeah, just go to my webpage and then click on books and it's right there. Fantastic. Yes, we already have the All link right, on Brad, there. You're on. We already have the link on the page. I mean, Elizabeth got it done. Yes. Cut her slack. <laughs> it's nice to be able to say that. So, down the rabbit hole we go. The rabbit hole. The rabbit hole. <laughs> Get ready. Oh, well, actually, we're already in there, folks, but that's okay. You can't see it because we don't turn yeah. it on the other way, but that's okay. Um, everyone else watching did actually see you guys go down the rabbit hole. So now, to make it easier on everybody, we're back here. So, recently in the news, the Navy and Department of Defense has acknowledged that uh, there are at least three or four pieces of video that had been floating around the Internet um, that it was actually a declassified footage of Navy interactions or engagements with unidentified flying objects. Ooh. So the Navy's acknowledged it. So my question is, is given that this these encounters could be the vanguard of an alien invasion fleet that is even now coming toward Earth, how <laughs> how will Franchise Vision stop the alien invasion? <laughs> uh, very good question. Um, well, I'm going to educate the aliens. I'm going to educate them. We're going to, you know, have them read my book and assimilate into the American en enterprise system. And uh, pretty soon we'll all be one together, and uh, it'll be great. Okay. All about unity. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> unity is the word these days. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I still think I Warren, Warren Zevon had it right. Lawyers, guns, and money, but that's okay. So, <laughs> on that note... I don't know how I, lawyers work against aliens. <laughs> you th throw enough of them at them, and you can bury them in it. Um, lawyers, but never mind. <laughs> so, before we end the show, I want to give a quick shout-out to Feedspot and thank them for listing us in the top 20 franchise podcasts you must follow in 2020 and really want to thank them for ranking us what number elizabeth number one <sighs> number one <laughs> well that sucks that's a sucky applause so we got to go for some real applause there <laughs> yeah. because here we go some real applause i hope <laughs> Oh, <laughs> All right, enough of that, folks. Uh, so, folks, we'll be back <laughs> next week with another weird and hopefully wonderful episode of Pillars of Franchising. I want to thank my co-hosts, Ray Pillar and Elizabeth Denham, and our guest, David Busker, for putting up with this weirdness. We may talk about <laughs> franchising, but we are weird. So, thanks again. Everyone have a great week. Be nice, be kind, and make money. Thank you, David. It's been a pleasure. franchising. Pillars. Pillars. Pillars.